here with my alpaca raft caribou, uh, pack raft, my, my bike, and mounting the bike to the raft. All right, so the first thing you want to do is get your raft all inflated, um, get it ready for the bike to be put on. The bike's gonna be mounted here on these four points um, using the strap kit that uh, you can get from Alpaca, plus an extra strap. The uh, Alpaca kit comes with three blue straps that are each 18 inches long, and then one orange strap that's 24 inches long, sorry, 25 inches long, and then um, I got this extra blue strap for strapping on the front wheel to the rest of the bike. So these four straps will go in here. Um, this strap will mount the front wheel to the bike. The next step is to prep the straps on the raft. And so we want to start with our two blue 18 inch straps. And these will go through these uh, two front middle uh, mounts. And so just make sure when you feed these things through that you're on the inside, that the inside of the strap is up. And so this little pointy piece on the buckle is gonna be facing down. Uh, for these front two straps, I actually like to take the, the buckle and make sure it's on this end and not this side. That allows it to come up over top of the top tube and uh, of the bicycle and it just relieves some tension rather than strapping here and putting a bunch of tension on here. Um, so this is the way I prefer to do it. Through here, like this. You know, I leave some space here so you can wrap this around easily uh, on the top tube. Um, you don't have to go crazy. Uh, you just want, want to give yourself enough room. So somewhere between say four and six inches. And then on this side, this is where the fork is going to go. And so here, I actually am going to route this differently. So the, you know, again, this is coming up over top of the fork. Again, make sure that you have the inside of your strap facing this way, upwards, and that little pointy thing on the buckle is going down. Again, give yourself a little bit of room. This one doesn't really matter which orientation it goes, whether it's this way or this way. Just make sure again that you know you have the inside facing up, and the. Um, buckle is going to go through here. There's not, just not as much tension on the mounting point, uh, you know, with this orientation because you're not pulling directly on the middle. This is going to be strapped up over top of the chain stay and the and the rear wheel. All right. So this here is ready for the bike itself. First thing you need to do is take the front wheel off the bike, and then if you have a through axle on your fork. Make sure to put that through axle back in, tighten it up. Don't over tighten it though, just put it back more or less where uh, you'd normally position it with that wheel in there. If you have a quick release, a standard quick release axle or axle nuts or something different than a through axle, take that out. Make sure you store it somewhere um, safe so that you don't lose it. For the back end, uh, I like to get this crank arm positioned alongside, um, you know, parallel to the uh, chain stay here. This will allow uh, the strap, that orange strap is going to go through the back end and it keeps everything nice and tight. Plus it allows this pedal to sit inside the raft and not be bumping up against the edge of the raft. Um, a note here, you know, you'll see that I have these uh, flat pedals with pins in them. When I actually do rafting, um, you know, with the, with the bike, I have a set of nylon pedals without the pins that I put on there. You know, these pins aren't particularly sharp. In this case, they're, you know, they're just the ends of, um, you know, some, some small bolts, uh, but they can get sharp if they get hit on rocks and things like that over time. So just be careful. Um, another thing, uh, derailers, uh, when I pack raft, I try to run a single speed um, instead of having this derailleur. This is a, a SRAM Eagle AXS. Um, you know, it allows me to switch back and forth between this and single speed pretty easily. And um, you know, also, you know, it's, it's easy to take on and off because it's electronic and wireless. It doesn't have any wires. I'd be taking this off if I was riding with it um, along with the chain and um, the shifter. Uh, you know, if you have a standard derailleur, you know, I, I do get concerned about getting water inside the cables if you're running cables. So 
you know, just something to think about um, that maybe it, it makes sense to to take that derailleur off completely along with the cables if that's a possibility and store it just in case things get wet um, because if you get water inside your cable housing pretty quickly uh, you know you end up getting rust in there so just just some stuff to think about as you move forward next we're gonna put the bike on grab your bike and we're gonna make sure that the drive side is up so make sure the drive side is up and make sure the handlebars are also facing up and this is going to be positioned so that the pedal sits on the inside of the raft here you've got plenty of room for your top tube here to get strapped on and then this mounting point is going to go right over top of that fork leg so i'm going to mount the fork leg first and just kind of lightly just to keep it in place and then i'm going to come up here and i'm going to run these top tube straps through here and then pull those so that you know, this buckle is kind of you know pretty close to your top tube there i'm going to take this don't go crazy but you know you want it good and tight you don't want to pull too hard on that that gear mount there as well and then now I'm gonna go back over here and tighten this guy up so tighten that completely and things are pretty solid. The last thing to do is run, for as far as the bike frame itself goes, is to run this through. So I go around the chainstay, um, through some of the spokes here, and around the crank, and get that good and tight. And then the front wheel, where you actually get a decent mounting point and then running the strap like this kind of top tube down tube area because you're not coming in contact with the with your fork uppers and then running it through the rotor itself seemed to work pretty well for me Again, make sure that's good and tight. And make sure you're not rubbing your fork lowers, or sorry, your fork uppers, like I said, on anything, you know, that they're not gonna get caught. Yeah, now this thing is wall one piece, pretty solid in there. A uh, Couple notes, you know, I, last time I did, you know, last time I went out, I did put something under here and then also something under here. Um, just to minimize some of that rubbing. Something like a cycling cap. Um, I used a pair of Kevlar gloves that, that I used for welding, an, an old pair that uh, I was gonna throw in the trash anyway. Um, and you know, using something that you're not afraid to lose might be helpful because it's probably not gonna stay on there. You could also create some type of sock for either of these that actually stays on um, and wouldn't fall off that you would put on. So. You know, those are all options but now this thing's all mounted and ready to go